up when it comes to that rubbing, you know what I'm saying? You gonna get you gonna take whatever it is. If it if it's coke, you know, uh, a couple of keys of coke, is it, you know, twenty, thirty pounds, you know what I'm saying? Some percocets, you know, even if you even even if you don't do even if you don't do the drug yourself, I'm sorry. Even if you don't do the drug yourself, man, you know, the lick is the lick, and you don't get, you know, whatever falling in your lap. You know what I'm saying? I went never no pill person, you know. Per I don't like, you know, I, I just went never that. Uh, but I do know my little cousin was in prison, which he, you know, he's still in now, now for murder. I see you in the medical when you come home. Free Quint Quint. Um, he was in, you know, he in jail and somebody who had probably like spent like 10 years, five or 10 years in there with him while he's riding had got out. And once he had got out, uh, I was still like doing doing some little play for cause. Cause on you know, this the cousin went in jail for the murder that when I, you know, did my thing, went down to the prison and got caught with the weed and conspiracy. This that cousin right there. So, you know, I'm still just talking to him here and there. Uh, if you needed some around the city, of course, I would do that. You know what I'm saying? But at one point, we was talking, and he told me that he, like one of his partner got out, and his partner like got the plug on the pills or whatever. So like the ecstasy pills. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like he was like, man, you want to fuck with him? Like, yeah, man, like that. So he gave me his number, put him on three way first, and then we talked, and then I called him, and um, he just had a good deal on. The, the pills, you know, because the egg pill had done left from the city for as for as a demand for them. Everybody wanted them, and, and the ones that wasn't in the pill, I mean, in the city, the pills wasn't high grade pills. It was like low grade pills. So nobody really was fetching for those pills and stuff at the time. But they had recently started making their way back, you know what I'm saying? Making their way back, and there was a little bit more potent than what they had been for the last few years or whatnot. So I knew that, like, you know, good price I can get off of them. So once I talked to old home, home was up, like, in that Decatur area, you know, way up there, too. But once I had talked to home, man, home was, like, giving me, you know, the pill for, like, 90 cent, 80, 90 cent. You know what I'm saying? So I go buy some, you know, a whole bunch of them or whatever and just start, like, you know, let, let my folks know that I got them. And um, which I... Uh, rapidly found out that there was a good little bit of demand for them still. So I'm like, hey, man, you know, like that. And I would actually sell them for like $2, you know what I'm saying? Making like a dollar and 10 cent off of them, uh, a straight dollar, dollar and 20 cents. So I help. But, um, so me and, me and the plug, man, the pill plug, man, we got real tight, real tight. I'm, I'm constantly driving, going up there and stuff. But that was the only, that, the down part about it that yeah, I had to drive so far, you know, from where I'm at, south side, to where he was in Decatur, it was deep Decatur, you know what I'm saying? So um, that ride, he's always killed me, but I had to go get him because I was making that bread, I was making that bread, man. So anyway, I was down at the 4900 block one day, man, uh, Hickory Park, big shots out to me, Hickory Park, homies. Uh, I was down there one day, and an older dude, old school dude, you know, a couple of years older than me, I know him, big shots out to Ferris. Ferris had came to me. Farrah had a play of uh, his partner that was coming down from Maryland, either D.C. No, it was D.C. It was coming down from D.C. Big shot sight to the D.C. partners up there, man. Uh, um, my homie Black and my homie Bizel, man. Big shot sight, man. I'm doing uh, some for Chino right now, man. Uh, free Chino. He had the uh, plug in D.C. that was coming down. And they want to get some some beans, which you know, in college ball, in London, they, that's pills, that agency pills, they call beans, like Jack and the Beans told me. So, <laughs> so um, I was like, man, you know what they want, what they want, you know, he said they wanted like a hundred pack, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe two hundred. So I'm like, all right, bet, you know, it was low, but I'm like, all right, bet. And um, he he, want, he wanted a price on them, so gave him a price on them. He put a little tab on them. They came down, they end up buying a 300 pack. So it worked out pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Kiss a little quick little 300 or whatever. So, so we, me and the dudes, we switched numbers. The, the dude from DC, man, it was actually two of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, they was they was friends, but it was only one person that was buying the pills or whatnot. So, bad high up. So, 
the deal go good. We change numbers. Thank you, Ferris. I got a new plug. It's on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I keep doing my thing, doing my thing, doing my thing. And then the peer partner get popped. Peer partner get popped. You know, of course, I'm like, ah, my last few pills. Now I got people calling me. So, ah, whatever. So with that being said, too, at the same time, uh, my cousin was a supervisor at a, a mattress spot. A mattress spot um, in Northern Georgia. Big shots out to my homies in Northern. I got to get shots out every time, every city I say I got people there. You know what I'm saying? Every state, every city. Just about, for real. Uh, so, a good was a supervisor, hiring manager or something down at a spot. He come on my house, get some pills, of course. <laughs> and we just talking and stuff. He said, man, you know, I've been in this spot for about two years. I said, oh, you ain't in the other spot no more. You know how you be talking. Like, no, nah, man, I just hired this guy. This guy, man, is that, man. We need about two more people. And me, who I am, man, like, I get that money, man. I do that. I love to. The one thing that I do love is I love to learn new things. I don't care what it is. And then at the end of the day, I'm a hustler. I'm the type of person, just to let y'all know, I'm the type of person that, like, I have 10 bands in my pocket. And I can be anywhere. And a lady come out her door and say, excuse me, old lady or something. Excuse me, baby. Could you sweep these, this grass right here? I mean, or could you rake my leaves up? I'll give you $25. And I got 10 bands in my pocket, 120 bands in my bank account. And I'm going to do it just for them $25 just to get it. You know, uh, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I just get it, bro. That's, I, that's all I know is to get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, I'm going to get it. So my cousin say that, man. I'm like, oh, you you can hire? He like, yeah. I'm like, bro, let me come down. How much y'all pay? <laughs> I said, that, that really, man, what? Man, what y'all pay, man? I'm gonna come down now, man. He was like, hey, man, they, they paying $17 an hour. Like, what? Man, let go, man. Cause I go catch a quick, you know, two, three thousand from a, from a job real quick. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's downtime, like, it's something that I'm interested, interested in, something that uh, I think, like, I wanna learn, you know, like, wow, I, wow. And then I go, you know, go there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I go there for, for pay and for no pay at the same time to learn, you know, and all know the money, the hustle, just however it go, you know, however it follows with me. So anyway, make a long story short. Um, I said, man, I work, man, I come down, down you know, and, and do that, man, you know, blah blah. He like for real, I'm like yeah. So I go down to Nona, to the mattress place, and I start working down. Uh, you know, it'd be really some machine. It's a phone. It's a phone. Oh, it's a phone mattress place, and those of my partner down at Nuna, y'all know right behind the racetrack is that phone mattress place. So I'm working. I'm working the machine, and those of y'all that work down now, I work the machine that cut. You know, I don't done a lot of things, y'all. It's just in the street shit. I'm, you know, y'all gonna learn me. It cuts the phone. You know, you put the big block of phone up there. Put the big block of phone up on the up on the um, conveyor thing or whatever, and it goes down, and you have this thing that cut it, huh? Cut it, uh, uh, and then that, now you got your little phone pieces or whatever, whatever. So I'm working that, working that. I still had people calling me for pills, man. She, uh, you know, I was, ah, uh, man, you know, not answering the phone call, looking at them, looking at them, looking at them. But then I look at my phone while it's ringing, and it's my, my, my uh, new connect that, you know, with the, you know, that buy the pills from it, not my plug, my plug, my plug banged up back in jail. But it's the DC people. That uh, bought the pills from me. You know what I'm saying? So I knew I didn't have the pills. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, I ain't even going to answer. Because who I am, while I'm looking at it, and I know I don't got the pills, my first instinct, you know what I'm saying, that lion instinct is to eat. You know what I'm saying? I'm automatically trying to eat. So when I see his number, my mind went to like just rub it. You know, rah. But I'm like, now nah, because it's during that time where I don't have to pick up a pick up a gun. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, don't have to pull out like rah, you know, rah, rah. That's behind me at the time, you know. So I'm like, that's why I didn't answer. I'm like, nah, man. I kept on working. Then he sent me a message. A man sent me a message and he said, Hey man, I'm coming down to Atlanta tomorrow from DC. I'm trying to buy some guns. I want to take them back up here because I got some people that are going to sell them. 
So I'm like, for real? He like, yeah. And I'm like, did I text him back then? So I'm like, how much you trying to spend? And he was like, 3500 So I'm like, bet. What are you trying to get? He said, anything. So I'm like, I can, I can show you a couple of what we got. Like, all right. Man, I went on Google, man. Went on. <laughs> and think about I'm a producer, editor, all that. So I went on Google, man. Got some guns, different type of guns, different type of guns. Uh, 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 Photoshopped them, did this to them, fixed it all up. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'm, I told you, I, well, whatever I do, remember I told you about Tasha? My, my, my diva girl with the, with, who put me on back in the day, she seen something in me. That boy's special. <laughs> so I photoshopped the guns, do this, do this, do this, put them all together, you know, pictures, blah, 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 send about three, five pictures, blah, blah, whatever. I sent them, and he loving it. Man, we love it. Man, I need two of those, two of those. Then you know how to play it like, man, we don't got three of those, though, bro. You know, we only got one of those. <laughs> you got to play it to the team. If you're going to do something, you got to Denzel that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? A two pocket, nigga. So after we make the arrangement, he's going to come down tomorrow. All right? Check this out. Meet me in the same spot that you met me when you bought those pills from me. I bet. And, and that's Hickory Paul. But then in the middle of that, I changed it. I said, no, because it's my second home. It ain't my first home. I'm going to tell my whole name down. I never have a warrant over that week. So I'm like, nah, call me back. Like, nah, bro, matter of fact, he go to address, just meet me here. And I gave him the same address that in previous story, I told y'all, I, I called the police on myself after I get a dude and walk through the pad where he be up there in the Project Wayne and the police would come and rough him up looking for me. So I tell him to meet me in that spot right there. Give him the address. Uh, boom, put in your Google Maps. He'll leave you right there. Tell him when you get like 20, 30 minutes away. He was like, I right, bet. The reason why I told him to tell me when he get 20 to 30 minutes away because at this time, I'm at work down in Nuna. And it'll take me at least 20 minutes to get the college for a project. You know what I'm saying? So he hit me and told me that he 20 minutes out, I tell this new dude that I you know I clicked up with that um working the, the other conveyor belt, the name I can't remember, Obi. Obi. Yeah, Obi. I tell <laughs> I tell Obi, he he's a younger dude too, I tell Obi to watch my machine. You know what I'm saying? Like if you can't, boom, put someone that I got you when I come back. Tell them that I just, you know, like, just, just hold me down. As long as that machine's still moving, uh, the supervisor, the people that's, that are um, over my cousin, if they come on the floor, they ain't going to um, know they, they ain't gonna know I'm missing. My cousin, cool with it. He know what's going on. So he like, long as that belt key right. I'm like, bet, I got it. Boom. So I leave, jump in the ride, go up to Kyle Paul Project. I look in my back seat for a bag. Don't don't see there, but then I go in my trunk and I find a duffel bag. You know what I'm saying? I find a duffel bag. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna put something in it and act like this and that. Then I said, no, nah, no, nah, I know what I'm gonna do. I got it. So once once I pulled up, he hit me, he telling me he in the other court. I parked in a, in another part of the project. So then I went on up. I walked up to the top of the project where he at. He's standing in his car. He pull out the money, and I do the same thing that I did with the drug deal that the other guy do. I, when he when he hand, he hand me the money before he started talking to anything, because he you know he probably think I got the guns with me, but he see me walking with nothing in my hand. So when he hand me the money, I tell him he need to count it first in front of me, because I need to do it. Because when I get it to him, they ain't gonna count it. So he counted, and then you know, that, like I say, he throwing it, making his mind think about it, it, something else besides whatever he was thinking about before I walked up. So as he counted the money, I, I told him, I said, "Man, you don't have no type of bag or anything," because I was looking for one in my car, but I couldn't find now. That's how I did that. Just something else to think about. And he was like, "Actually, I got two in the car." So we walked to the trunk of his car. He gave me two empty like duffel bags. And I walk around the building, you know, walk through the cut, walk around the building, walk around this building, now I'm back to my car. Boom, I jump right in my car. What do Black Bart do? Call the police on myself. <laughs> Call the police on myself. 
Say that I might that with a dude with the gun, down trees with a gun up there, red car, all that stuff. Of course, dude don't got anything on him, period, because he ain't coming to get the guns. But so they go rough him up. Of course, I hear get phone calls. I hear police just out there, tree still out there. Nah, man. But they rough him up, scare him up. I done jumped in the car, I'm gone. And on the way home, what's crazy is on the way home, I, I mean, on the way down the road, I called my wife. Excuse me. On the way down the road, I called my wife. I said, what you doing? She's like, now she met me at the front door. She met me at the front door. I had a 35 hunter. I took five out and put that in my pocket and gave my wife the three bands and then went right back to work. <laughs> right back to doing it to the, factory, the, <laughs> the mattress factory. I get to work. My partner who uh, on the, holding the machine down for me, I gave him a hunter. Then it was a, my other dude, my other partner that I knew before him. He worked there, too. I gave him, like, fifth then. And then that was my day, man. Real talk, man. Be a plug. I appreciate you. I ain't heard from you since. You need to get at your boy, man. You need to subscribe to the channel while you're in it, man. Right here, we live. We live, man. OG Black Bart 3700. Underground Source TV. Right now, we live. We doing it. College Paul stand up.